it's been a reoccurring theme. Overly ambitious, <laughs> overly confident and underfunded, you know? Yeah. It's been going on for three years and I've kind of reached the spot where I'm like, I can't do this anymore. I can't sacrifice my personal and my business and my family for, you know, these like crazy art projects. I'm like, just a couple days ago, I'm cleaning my garage and I'm finding projects that I haven't really, I haven't looked at or thought about in five years. And there's just like loose ends everywhere. So I'm like, wow, I, I abandoned that. I didn't do that to its full potential. And I started thinking, well, my, a lot of my Burning Man art is like that. I have those same feelings. We were short a thousand dollars or uh, we, we ran out of time. Two months ago, I was, you know, I was seriously thinking, I can't afford tickets. Um, but shit, I can't afford anything. You know, I need to focus on my business and I need to like get out of this. And I'm trying to reconcile that with Burning Man being, you know, some of the primary growth experiences in my life. And I was like, well, shit, why can't I do both? Why can't I make the installation <laughs> to the specs that I want it to? have everything come out exactly how I want it to and, so and, good. and the momentum from just knocking that out and just killing it yeah. like that's like that's what I want to take take out you know under my life so having to take on that responsibility and like do something that's just like crazy and self-destructive but like but seeing it through I've never had uh, commitments like that in my life <laughs> I'm looking forward to this year because I've started doing CAD tutorials, so okay. so certain aspects of detail of Merkaba, like how the upholstery gets held we're gonna onto put gaps between the panels that are you know three eighth inch. So we're going to be able to slide in one forty four addressable LEDs. Ah, so as Merkaba is spinning around and people are in there working okay. the, working the teacup and spinning it around, that the light is actually. The light shows can start pulsating you, to you, you, to that interaction. Oh, this is and good, man. I've had difficulty asking for help. No, I feel like I don't want to. I don't want to burden people, but like I kind of realize, like like shit, man. People really want to throw down on this project. Um, the projects I can't finish up, I want to convert into a piece of art and be able to offer that to people. Okay. The intensity of the synchronicities have has been. A kind of a spiritual revelation for me my whole like my whole childhood and you know science whatnot it rejects that you know outright sure. it rejects this idea that there is some like some sort of consciousness or some sort of entanglement you know like you like you like and to just reject that outright um it's just like like why even if it wasn't true wouldn't you just want to believe in it believe it because it helps you because it feels good yeah you man. know like yeah, what yeah, you know but like it's bigger than that like it it feels good it feels good to believe it and then crazy things start happening you know and like that like i don't like i don't know it sounds I've, I've i know it sounds woo woo yeah. Yeah, it yeah, sounds yeah. woo woo but like i'm not <laughs> hey man this was fun we yeah. should do this again yeah, likewise. yeah. love um, you guys